Hi, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, still here in the OTN Lounge at beautiful Oracle Open World 2014, ready to present another two-minute tech tip. My name is Stein Vesterli. I'm an Oracle Ace Director, and I work with Fusion Middleware, especially ADF. And what's your tech tip? It's about using ADF libraries, building up a good um, structure in an ADF application, which is also something that I write about in my book. Your two minutes starts now. Okay, thank you. So when people start out with ADF, they are building tutorials, and all the tutorials, they're always in, in one workspace, one JDeveloper workspace. So many people start out with this one workspace and just keep adding to it as they build uh, applications. And that's not the right way to build applications. To build an ADF application, you need to have a foundation layer. You'll split your application into a number of subsystems, and then on top of that, you're going to have a master application. Now, ADF offers this nice feature of ADF libraries. So what you take is each project, you deploy that as an ADF library. So you have a foundation library and you, that you import in each subsystem and then in each, um, in each subsystem, then also produce an ADF library. And then the master application pulls the whole thing together. It has a page that includes all the task flows that you're using in your ADF libraries. So. So, so far, so good, that's standard architecture. Now, the, the little tip here is that JDeveloper has a mysterious default. When you deploy an ADF library, it will default to deploying it with all the connection details, which means that when you move from, from uh, development to production, you're actually going to have, unless you do something, you're gonna have the exact connect details, the, the server name and the, the name of your development database, which is, of course, not right. So when you create, a, when you create uh, an ADF library, remember to check the, check the setting that says deploy connection name only. Don't deploy the connection details, deploy connection name only. Because if you do that, then you have a really reusable ADF library that you can use throughout your applications without getting into, getting into these problems of your application trying to address, your test application trying to address your development database. Nice job.